One of these videos is a real life video of me and the other is my AI clone. I'm gonna play both these videos simultaneously right now and let's see if you can guess which one is which. Hello there, welcome to this course. This is Kush Sharma. I'm a photography and videography instructor and in this mini course, I'm gonna be telling you how to create your own vlog. We're gonna be going through this entire process and by the time you finish this mini course, you will understand everything about vlogging. So what I've done here is that I've divided this course into certain sections. So what do you think? Well, here's the answer. The video on the right is my AI clone or is it? No, the actual answer is the video on the left is my clone and one on the right is the real life video. It wasn't easy, right? This is all thanks to Heijin's video to avatar feature, which also now works on avatar 4 model, which can sometimes produce an output which literally mimics reality. So let's see this entire process. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to create such a clone video right from scratch using the video to avatar feature. The best part is you can do this even on a free plan with some restrictions, of course, that we're going to see during the process. Nano Banana is now built inside Heijin, so you can use that to edit the look of the clone so you don't have to settle for the initial look of the uploaded video. We'll also be seeing how this compares to using Avatar 4 when you upload an image instead of a video to create your avatar. So we'll be having a comparison of these results. We'll talk about some important points related to getting the best output when it comes to using video to avatar. And also one of the most confusing aspects about Heijin is its pricing when it comes to the avatar 4 for usage. So here also I'll be talking about some important points that you should know about of in case you do decide to go in for the paid plan. So let's start this process. So once you go over to the Heijin website, the link is in the description, you create your free account and you're going to see this particular page. And here under create something new, just go to this option that says create your avatar. That's a very simple process. So you just need to basically upload that sample video that the AI model will get trained on. So you can hit this get started button. It'll tell you of some requirements, which actually you don't really have to follow. The main thing here is that it should at least be 30 seconds long. The lighting should be good and just speak naturally and clearly. And the main thing here is try to show very natural gestures, which you do in real life. And it's great at copying all that. And you can just leave everything here at default and just click on next and then you upload your video. So in my case, this was the video. And the thing is, I did not even make this purposely for Heijin. This is just from one of my online courses on vlogging. But the important thing here was that, you know, it sh should display my uh, gesturing, the things that I do normally. And it copies even those subtle movements very well in your clone video. For example, if I just play this video, Hello there, welcome to this course. This is Kush Sharma. I'm a photography and videography instructor and in this mini... So I have this habit of just swaying left and right uh, when I'm talking. I get criticized for it a lot by my students, but it even copies that inside the clone video, along with obviously, uh, you know, the gesturing of the hands. But you can see, right, even if you just have a decent video, you upload it, usually it's going to give you good results. And at this point, make sure you just uncheck this option that says AI background removal because Heijin is not very good at removing the background. And I'm gonna be talking about why it's actually very important that this first video that you send as a sample should be recorded in a good environment and ambience. But I'll talk about that later once you see certain results. Then you can hit next and that's it. Now I can't do this again because even on the paid plan that I am on, the creator plan, you can only create one such avatar. So I've already done that. But at this point, it'll just upload the video and it will ask you for a verbal and visual consent which will happen by it enabling your webcam and you'll just have to say that yes I am actually the person who is inside the sample video and you'll just have to read a line that they give out and that's it your avatar will be ready so once you go back then to the home page how you access this is by going over to assets and under avatars just click on this and you will be able to see your avatar here so now let's see how we can create the new videos from this look. So the moment your avatar gets created, one of the things that we get here, like this big thumbnail that you're seeing, this is your base look that just directly comes in from that sample video that you had given, but you can also edit it like I'm gonna show you later. But right now, let's just stick to the base look and create our first video with this. And how that's gonna happen is I can just click on it and then hit this option that says create with AI studio. And then it's a very simple process. 
The main thing that you basically have to do here is that you have to add in your audio, which will ultimately get lip synced. So either you can just type in a transcript here, then select one of the Hagen's built-in voices, or you can just upload an audio, which usually is what most people will do, if especially you're creating your own AI twin here. So let me just upload a simple audio here. And then I'm just gonna hit this option that says add audio. You'll see a transcript of this audio come here. And that's it, you really don't have to do anything else. There are certain things which you normally get in video editors. You can add some text, some media, some elements. You can even enable the captions. So all this is pretty easy to understand. Mainly you're just gonna hit generate here. And then it's just gonna show you some options. You can change the title here. On the free plan, you'll only be able to select the high definition resolution, but on the paid plan, you can go and select the full HD mode. Though do note that it will cost you twice the amount of seconds that are available on the Avatar 4 model limit. And I'll talk about that during the pricing stage. And that's it, you don't do anything else. You just hit submit and your job will be done. Of course, on the free plan, you will also get the watermark. But right now, let's see the result. So this is the video that we have got. So let's play this. All right, so this is done using the Heijin video model and not the 4 to 2 video. So here, everything is getting trained by uploading a 1 to 2 minute long video. And you can see this also looks much better because Heijin has more data to train itself with. So you can see that is absolutely amazing. First of all, the lip syncing is great. I've even tried it with slightly faster audio and it even does a good job there also. And of course, you could see the movement here. 4 to 2 video. So here everything is getting trained by uploading a So one. remember that swaying that I talked about, it even copied that to my clone and this is absolutely amazing. Now let's go back to the main interface and let me show you what happens when you start editing the look of this clone. So in the first example, we just use the base look but we can edit it also. So what I can do is if I just click on it, actually I don't even have to click on it, just down below here where it says choose an identity to customize it with new styles and scenes, just hit this button. And then I can just choose this, my original look there or the avatar there. And then you get this option. You can see here by default, the nano banana editor is right here. And I can now make any changes to the look here. So for example, I can say, make this man wear a suit. And if I just hit this, we're gonna get a different frame now where that change will reflect. So let's just wait for this. And you can see that we've got our new results. So everything remained the same. If I just open this up, it's just that now I'm wearing a suit. Now, one of the things that you will notice is, and this is the problem with most of the AI editors, when you do go in for a drastic change like this, it can just produce a bit of the change in the face here. Okay, but we're also gonna animate this later on and see what the results are, but you can see how easy it is to change the look. Let's make two more changes. One is where now we can also change the background and not the person, so let's type in something like, change the background to a white backdrop. And till the time this is cooking, let's also try for an extreme edit where we just completely change the scene. So make this man or rather, this man is sitting in an outdoor cafe. And let's just also create this. So it was struggling a bit with the white background prompt and in these two results, it actually didn't change anything. Finally, I got this where also it wasn't really the result I was going in for, mainly remove the screen from here. But the point is you can ultimately after a certain amount of tries change the background too. And this is the result for the outdoor cafe where again, you're gonna notice that now this time, because this was such an extreme edit, my face is completely uh, different. Now what we're gonna do is we're also going to animate, let's say the one with the suit hair and this one. And you do it the same way. So I can just click on it, create with AI Studio and do exactly the same thing, but we are more interested right now in the results. So let's also see these two results. So this is the issue that you're gonna notice with Heijin, that whenever you do make these edits, yes, you can change the look, that's good, but it just loses the potency. So if I just play this uh, man with the suit video where my clothes were changed, let's have a look at this result. And this time, you're gonna, you're gonna notice that the movements are not good enough. All right, so this is done using the Heijin video model and not the 4 to 2 video. So here, everything is getting trained by uploading a 1 to 2 minute long video. And you can see this also looks... So that is of 
basically of no use at all. A lot of artifacts there, the quality was really poor. And the same thing with the outdoor cafe one. So if I open this, we already seen, first of all, the problem here was my face had changed a lot, but now even the movements. All right, so this is done using the HGN video model and not the four to two video. So here, everything is getting trained by uploading a one to two minute long video. And you can see this also looks much better because- he And another problem with HGN, which is quite popular, is that in these outdoor scenes, if there's any movement of the cars or the people, it just doesn't look natural. You could see that they were moving too fast. But again, the main problem here is this is not me and you know, again, the movements here just were not natural. So the main takeaway here is that yes, even though we have the facility to edit the look of the clone, it's only advisable if you just use it to make very small amount of localized edits, anything extreme. And you can see that the quality is really gonna suffer, which again means if I come back to the original point, which I mentioned when the first video was being uploaded, that the ambience and the quality and your own look in that original video is extremely important. So even if you have to hire someone to shoot that video for yourself, it'll be totally worth it because it's a one-time effort. You get that video right, and on the basis of that, you can create some really realistic clones. But the moment you rely on the edits, the quality can go down. Because I'm guessing the moment you edit something, it uses the frame to turn it into a clone and therefore it's then using the image to avatar feature and not video to avatar. So talking about that feature, let's also see the kind of results we get from that if we use one of the original frames from the original video. So if I go back to home, this is photo to video now, not uh, video to video. So let's upload one of the frames from the original sample video right here. So this is one of the images from that video. Again, I'm gonna upload that same audio. And here, because the AI doesn't have anything to get trained on, it doesn't know how I actually move, I can describe under custom motion the kind of gestures I would like. So I've just written here, very expressive with a lot of hand gesturing. And then again, I can select on the paid plan a higher resolution. And let's generate this video also. And once this comes out, let's put this video and the one we got out of video to video together and let's see the results. All right, so this is the result with image to avatar. Hello there, welcome to this course. This is Kush Sharma, I'm a photography and videography instructor and in this mini course, I'm gonna be telling you how to create your own vlog. We're gonna be going through this entire process and by the time you finish this mini course, you will understand everything about vlogging. So what I've done here is that I've divided this course into certain sections and now let's also have a look at the video that we'd seen before, which was video to avatar. Hello there, welcome to this course. This is Kush Sharma. I'm a photography and videography instructor. And in this mini course, I'm gonna be telling you how to create your own vlog. We're gonna be going through this entire process. And by the time you finish this mini course, you will understand everything about vlogging. So what I've done here is that I've divided this course into certain sections. And you can see there's literally no comparison. Image to avatar is not bad, but you really need a very sharp and a good quality photograph to be able to produce good quality results. So that is one of the requirements. And then you really have to sometimes just get lucky that the gesturing and the movements that the AI produces completely on its own are good enough, but there's no comparison to video to avatar. All right, so let's talk about Hagen's pricing because this can be confusing if you've never done this before. They don't really mention this properly. So apart from the free plan, first of all, the good thing is you can only mainly go for the creator plan, which is $29 a month. Obviously, it's going to be slightly lesser if you pay annually. But they don't really mention anything related to Avatar 4, which is the only reason actually to go in for uh, Heijin. So if I go over to the home page, it becomes clear here because if I click on my account name here and then I go on to settings, subscriptions and API, this is actually where under the renews monthly section, you can see avatar for video limit, which is 600 seconds or 10 minutes per month. If you do run out of uh, these 10 minutes, then you have to buy what we call as a generative credit pack, which will be $15 again for a top up of 600 seconds for avatar four or 10 minutes. Now this is not a problem. This is easy to understand where the confusion begins is if let's say after your subscription got over for a certain time, again, you were on the free plan. And then for the second time, again, you went for the creator plan. The moment you pay those $29 per month again, you're expecting this to go back 
and fill up to 600 seconds again. It doesn't work that way because it only tops up on the first of a month. So you'll actually have to wait till the first of the month for this to become 600. If the first of month is quite far away and you still want to use Avatar 4, you will have to still buy Generative Credit Pack, which will cost you again $15 a month. So do remember, this is just a bonus they give you on the paid plan, but it only tops up on the first of a month. You might just have to wait or just anytime, basically. In short, if you're getting confused, the main point here, here is that $29 a month usually is not going to cut it. Um, consider your budget more like $45 to $50 a month or maybe even more if you plan uh, to really use this extensively. But when it comes to creating the clone itself, I mean, right now there's no doubt that especially when it comes to the video to avatar model, there is no match out there to Heijin. So in case this video helped you out, do give it a like and for more AI tutorials, make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.